Welcome student, in this video we will see the design of synchronous mod 6 grey counter, right. So, this we need to find the grey counter. So, first we need to see what is how to convert the binary to grey, right. So, this is the binary number, 0 mod 6 is there, so definitely there will be 8 combination, 3 bit will be there. So, we can take 3 bit binary number 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 like that it will go up to 1 1 1. So, this binary number should be converted into gray code. How to convert this binary to gray is available here. 0, 0, 1 means we need how to find the gray. So, 0 is written as it is. The first 0 written as it is. The first and second 0 is we find the XR gate, the output of XR. Right? What is the XR gate is available here. A, B, 2 inputs and output Y. 0, 0 mean it will give 0. 0, 1 mean 1. 1, 0 mean 1. 1 1 mean 0 that is both the inputs are same mean it will give 0 both the inputs are same mean it will give 0 both are different mean it will give 1 right that is the nature of the xrk right from 0 to 0 mean 0 0 into 0 into 1 0 and 1 xr mean it will give 1 right first digit written as it is first and second digit we need to find xr both are same mean it will give 0 both are different mean it will give 1. We will go for one more combination 1 0 1. So, 1 is written as it is this 1 and 0 xr both are different means it will give 1. Similarly, 0 and 1 both are different mean it will give 1 right. For 0 0 1 binary number the gray code is 0 0 1. 1 0 1 means 1 1 1 right. We are able to understand the 0 is written as it is first digit is written as it is. The second digit is nothing but we need to find the XR of first and second. That is, this both are equal mean 0 only. Again, second and third, both are different mean it will give 1 based on the tabular column, right. So, the based on that, the binary number is converted into gray, right. 0, 0 mean 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1 means 0, 1, 0. 1, 0, 0 means 1, 1, 0. 1 0 1 means triple 1 last 2 are do not care condition because only 6 is given right. So, based on this calculation these are all converted. Now, we need to refer this gray code we are going to design the converter only for this gray code with 6 combination last 2 are the do not care condition right. Now, we will see the state diagram now we have to refer this the state diagram is nothing but referring this 0 0 0 2 0 0 1. Now, we will see the state diagram. See this 0 0 2 0 0 1, 0 0 1 2 0 1 1, then 0 1 0, then 1 1 0, then 1 1 1, again 0 0, right. So, this is the state diagram. So, what we calculated the binary code, it is a state diagram. Another two are the do not care condition, right. So, so, from this we can identify there are three flip flops are required, we can select the T flip flop, we can select the T flip flop. Right. Now, we need to identify the excitation for table for the counter. So, first we will see the excitation table of the T flip flop. What is the T flip flop? The excitation table means we are identifying what is the input required for the given output. For example, this is the current state and next state. If the current state is also 0, next state is also 0 mean what is the input to the T flip flop is nothing but 0 that is called excitation table. Similarly, the current state is 1, next state is also 1 mean the input to the T flip flop is 0. That is there is no change mean the T input will be 0. Suppose 0 to 1, current state changed to 1 or current state changed from 1 to 0 mean the flip flop that input to the T flip flop is 1, right. So, there is no change in the state mean 0, any change in the state 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 mean it is 1 1, that is the nature of the T flip flop, right. Now, we will find the excitation table for the this counter. So, this is a present state, this is the next state. What is present state? This 6 gray num, gray codes 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 what we discuss in the state diagram the 6 are available. For 0 0 0 what is the next state 0 0 1. For 0 0 1 the next state is 0 1 1 right we will refer the state diagram. See this for 0 0 the next state is 0 0 1. For 0 0 1 the next state is 0 1 1, for 0 1 1 the next state is 0 1 0. 
right so all six are written as a current state the next state is written in the second column the ns ns is nothing but start from here 0, 0, 001 for this this is the next state so that 0, 0, 001 then 0, 0011 1, right so all six are written as a present state the next state that is the second second number is start from second number we wrote as a next state right now we need to identify the qc and qc1 both are zero what is the input to the t flip flop that is nothing but the excitation table of the counter right so there are three flip flop available c b a right flip flop c flip flop b and a so q c q b q a is nothing but the current state of the three flip flop q c 1 q q b 1 q a and 1 is nothing but next state of the flip flop for that we need to identify what is the input to the t flip flop c b and a right? there are three flip flops flip flop c b a right for 0, 0, there is no change means we already told that 0, 0 means the T flip flop will be 0. Here also 0, 0, this is B and QB means current state, QB1 means next state. So the QB is also 0, QB1 also 0 means there is no change. QA is 0, but QA plus 1 is 1, there is change. 0 to 1 is changed mean the TA will be 1, that is given here. From 0 to 1 means the T value will be 1. From 1 to 1, 0 also T value is 1. Now we will see one more. For 0, 0, there is no change, so it is input is 0. This also changed from 0 to 1, so the input will be 1. Here 1 to 1, there is no change, current state and next state, so that it is 0. So like that we can frame the entire table for the present state and next state, what is the input to the three flip-flop, flip-flop C, B and A. Now we need to find the expression for TC, TB and TA by using the KMAP reduction. Now we will go to the KMAP reduction. For TC, the third flip flop, the input for TC, the expression for TC, the inputs are QC, QB, QA, the three current states, the current state of the three flip flop is the input, the QC having two combination, QC bar and QC, QB, QA, two, two bit is there, so the four combinations are available, QB bar, QA bar, QB bar, QA, QB, QA, QB and QA bar, that is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. right now we can go for the simplification right so this only the two ones are available and two the don't care conditions are available remainings are zero so we can combine these two and this one is available individually so by simplifying that what we got while combining these two we have to refer this qc and these two qb bar and qb cancel only qa so qc into qa while referring this, we have to refer this QC bar and QB QA bar, right? So QC bar, QA bar, QB, right? So the expression for TC is QA into QC plus QA bar, QB and QC into QC. Similarly, we can go for TB, the expression for TB, second flip-flop. So these two are ones, these two are zero, yeah, cross mark, others are zero. So these two are combined and these two are also combined. So while combining these two, we have to refer this QC. We have to refer these two. This QB and QB bar cancel, QA. So QC into QA. QC into QA. While referring these two, cell, so these are cancelled. Only we have QB bar and QA. QB bar and QA. So the expression for TB is QA, QB bar plus QA into QC. Similarly, we can go for TA the expression for third flip-flop. So these 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 ones are available, 2 cross mark available and these two are 0. So we can combine these 4 cell, these 2 cell and these 2 cell. While combining these 4, we have to refer this QC, all are cancelled, only we have QC. While combining these 2, these 2 are cancelled, we have QB bar, QA bar, QB bar, QA bar. While combining these two, these are all cancelled, we have QB and QA, right. Now we got the expression for TC, TB and TA. From that we can design the T flip flop. So we already discussed there are three flip flops are needed. So this is the flip flop A, B and C. This, this is the clock pulse, right. So the clock pulse is available. The clock pulse is given to all three flip flop. The output is QA, QA bar, QB, QB bar, QC, QC bar, right. 
So for TA, what is the input to the TA? What we discussed in the K map is nothing but accordingly disconnected. The TA is nothing but QA bar QB bar plus QA QB into plus QC. Right? There are three uh, three expressions are available. That is connected here. These are all connected accordingly. What we got as a TA. Similarly, TB. Right? These two AND gates. So it will multiply. Then it is added together. Right? The TB what we got is QA into QB bar plus QA into QC. Right? So accordingly, it is connected. QA QB bar QA into QC are connected. Both are multiplied. Then it is added. Similarly, TC. TC what we have QA QC plus QA bar QB QC bar. So accordingly, these two are connected. Right? So we can see from the diagram it is clearly we can identify that. Then it is given to the TC. Right? So the input is given to TA, TB, TC according to the reduction in the K map. What be the expression? What we got in the K map accordingly connected? So this flip flop will generate the six bit gray code. Gray code. It will generate the six bit gray code. Right? So in this video we discuss about the mod six gray counter. The binary to converted into gray. So it will generate the gray code directly. Thank you for listening.